but it's March. The last time we came to you was in February. And at that time we had almost no leaves, but now we not only have leaves, but we have tons of blooms. And today we're going to let Mr. Wilds talk to you about the various stages of the blooms. We have two kinds of blueberries. We have the southern high bush and the rabbit eye. Rabbit eye is, the, is native to uh, South Georgia. And uh, it's a later variety than the southern high bush is. A stage of bloom right here where the flowers have just begun to separate. Then you see the next one there, they have elongated. And then this one, they have elongated and are open. When they're open like this, then there's about uh, three to five days that they can be pollinated. And that's why we really want the bees to work because the bees will come in here and uh, a, a blueberry, the, it's hard to pollinate because the, the, the bloom hangs down. So the, the, the bee has got to go right in the end of it and he'll get pollen off of, off of these anthers inside that bloom and he, he'll transfer it to another one as he gets it on his face and all that kind of stuff, you know? So you can see the different stages of it right here. And then we move on up, then we can see some that uh, the bloom has already dropped off. And this is the style. That's, that's what the pollen is placed on the end of that. And then it transfers through pollen tubes inside that style down to the ovaries, which is the, inside the little berry. Now we can also see some berries here that have, they look to have been pollinated. They have, they turn up. See they're, they're when they, when the bloom is on them, they're hanging down. And after the bloom falls off, they turn up toward the sun then and begin to grow. They'll grow very rapidly for um, about the first uh, 30 days. And then they kind of slow down for a period of time until just before they begin to, to turn blue. And then we have another rapid increase in size. And we standing here can hear and see the bees working. And bless them, bees and, I don't know if you can see that one up there, but they have to ha literally hang upside down to pollinate these things. See, there is the neatest thing to actually watch as the bees, and they don't bother you. The little bees are not going to bother you out here. They're, they're busy buzzing around doing their thing, and we're so thankful for them. The weather today is just perfect for bee activity. The, uh, the honeybee is not the best pollinator. Uh, bumblebee is actually a better pollinator than, than the honeybee is, but there's not nearly as many bumblebees as there is honeybees. So we take what we can get. What we'd like to see, we'd like to see in the field, we'd like to see five to six bees per plant working. If we can get that kind of bee activity, then there's a pretty good, uh, pretty good chance that they'll be pollinated. And you see, once the bloom falls off, the ground is just covered with the white blooms. They're beautiful. I'm sorry I didn't get out here in time to show you the whole field. It's just gorgeous when it's completely full of blooms, but I missed that window of opportunity, and I'm sorry for you guys, but you can see what we're talking about. And more and more leaves have come out, which is a good thing because the leaves help to feed the plant. Here's some more berries that has, you see the They're size. They're beginning of, to make a berry, aren't they? Right, you see the size of those compared to uh, uh, the little berry where the bloom has just fallen off and it's, it's still hanging down. That's why all the berries on the bush doesn't get ripe at the same time because all the blooms don't, don't, uh, get pollinated and fall off at the same time. That's correct. That's right. So we will, we will pick on. these uh, four or five, maybe six times. 
and and like he said we're in the rabbit eyes so they're a later bloomer the uh the ones that i love i don't know if you can see this little bee can you see him there he is oh, there he is he's no he's gone he go. but um the ones that i love to eat the key crisp we hope to have picking on them in about a month end of april so we're we're getting excited we're promoting the um you pick and hoping people will come out the weather will be great and you can you pick your own berries oh there's another bee i wish I, i'm not a good photographer so i'm afraid i can't get the bees for you but they are working they're they're earning their keep today i read the other day that like 90 percent of the food we eat that we enjoy from berries to ice cream if we don't have bees we won't have them so the food you really like depends on bees to pollinate and we hope you'll if you're anywhere in the area you'll come to see us when we open the U peak Albert, anything else you want to say? No, I was trying to find a bumblebee, but I don't, I don't see I a bumblebee. I see the honeybees all over the place. I don't see place, a bumblebee so. working right now. But they're kind but of camera shy. They don't like for you to take we as, we as farmers, we try to be really careful uh, and not do anything that harms the bees because we know if, if that little flower if, is not visited by a bee, some, some plants... Are pollinated by wind. Blueberry is not. If, if that little flower is not visited by a bee, it just will not make a berry. It will, uh, the bloom will fall off, and in just uh, a few days, the little berry itself will fall off. It will just abort it because it's not, uh, it's, it, it's, it's not viable. It hasn't and, been fertilized. And what do they say, Albert? How many times does, does a flower have to be visited? I know that's We've, we've, there's been a lot of research done on that and there's not really a pat answer on it, but it's, it's like five to eight times wow. that a bee needs to visit that flower to completely pollinate it is, is what I've read. So we love the bees. We're glad they're out here. They love the sunny, warm weather when it's cloudy and rainy like it was here on Monday. They don't work too much. They kind of stay inside, but. Uh, today is just a magnificent day for the bees. They love to be out here. We love to be out here. And uh, Mr. Wiles is looking for something. What are you looking at? Just checking to see if there's any thrips out here. There's a little insect that will get inside this bloom. It's called a thrip. And he will, he will rasp on this style. And when it when that happens, then the pollen can't transfer, and uh, we have to be careful that we don't have a a big infestation of of those thrips damaging our flowers. Thrips are so tiny, you and I have a hard time seeing them, don't we? Yeah, they're pretty hard to see. They're hard to see, tiny, tiny, smaller than a gnat. If you know what a South Georgia gnat looks like, these are much smaller. And he shakes them. Sees if any any falls out. We pray not. But we hope you've enjoyed today. We uh, love coming to you. We we're I'm not a real good photographer, and I'm sorry the sun is not in the right place for us today. But we uh, we just wanted to come and let you see the blooms, the leaves, the plants. The berries are on their way, and we're happy. We are happy. We didn't have severe cold weather. We had cold, but when they started blooming, we didn't have severe cold, which was wonderful. And so we're expecting a bumper crop. So we hope that maybe you will be able to enjoy some of these. Oh, look at the bees over here. Man, we hope that you'll get to enjoy some of Georgia's finest blueberries. Look for them in the store. And y'all have a great day. God bless.